What's up guys? Welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to another Wednesday how-to video. If you guys are new to the channel, you don't know what we do here. On Wednesdays, we do how-to videos and tackle reviews. And on Sundays, we do fishing videos. If you haven't been around for a while, go back in our playlist, look at our how-to video. I think you'll find a lot of fun information there. Sight fishing, jetty fishing, flounder fishing, tackle reviews and boat reviews. We even did a boat review on that yellow fin right there. But I think you guys will enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, you're new to the how-to series, y'all step back and take a look at that. I think you'll appreciate it, guys. One thing that you regulars will notice, guys, we're going to change the times we drop these videos. Instead of dropping them at 5 a.m. when no one's on, we're going to start dropping these things at 4 p.m. Wednesday and Sunday videos will be at 4 p.m. Point four, we're going to try this and see if uh, it helps the, the uh, algorithm pick up on our channel, promote us a little more, maybe help the channel grow. We're growing fantastic right now. We want to take full advantage of that. Without further ado, guys, let's get into today's video where we're going to discuss how to tie the tandem rig. You guys all know what a tandem rig is. You've all seen it. It works great for flounder, great for speckled trout, and it works great for Spanish mackerel. Not people know it's a great Spanish mackerel rig, but we're going to show you the quickest, and easiest, down dirty way to tie the tandem rig for flounder season now during the flounder run here on the Texas coast, guys. Let's get into it. Today we're going to tell you a quick and easy way to tie the tandem rig. The tandem rig is a great, great, great way to catch flounder and speckled trout. We've all seen it. Uh, we've all probably bought tandem rigs. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way. You don't have to buy them anymore. You tie them yourself. This is a very, very effective, very easy way to tie this rig, guys. So I'm going to use this uh, red cord today. It's off my bow fishing rig. Um, that way you can see it a little better. You guys made some comments in the last video where we did our how-to flounder fishing video. You couldn't quite see what I was tying with. So you guys comment down below. Let me know if this works better for you, if you can see this. If not, we'll make another change. We'll do some POV stuff. But let's get into tying the tandem rig. So guys, what I've got, or what a tandem rig is basically, is one main line coming down to a connection point, and then two individual separate leaders of different links. For example, if I was to tie this right now, my first lure would be on top here, six to eight inches down below would be my second lure. And the way this rig works is it comes through the water and both lures have a separate action and they move independently of one another. If the flounder or speckled trout misses the first one it goes by, immediately behind it's another one, trigger that instinct bite and you get that flounder during the run or you get that speckled trout off the shell bar. So what I'm gonna do is show you a quick and easy way, guys. So I'm going to take my leader line and I'm going to set it up. I've got about six inches from the top to the bottom here. So what I've got to do now is tie my top part. What we're going to do is a double overhand knot. Take that top line, wrap it twice around your finger, very simply, come from the back side to the front side, and then just simply pull that guy tight. That is a very strong, very sturdy double overhand knot. So now we got our knot. Can you tie your main line directly to that loop? You can. In my experience and in my opinion, your main line, especially if you're fishing braid, eventually is going to wear through and cut that loop. So we don't want to tie straight to it if at all possible. What we want to do is take a swivel. We don't have to tie the swivel on here. We've set this thing up for quick changes. So all we're going to do is pass it through the bottom and then loop our little loop over the top of our swivel and then pull it down tight. We are now connected to our swivel very quickly, very easily. If we want to change this out later for a lighter one, or we tie the second one up with smaller jig headers or with bucktails, and we want to change it out, we can do this quickly now just by a quick slip and a slide, pull it on the top, and there we go. All right, guys, so now we've got a double overhand loop with a swivel to our two separate leaders, 
and we're going to take and tie our jigs on. I'm using DOA half ounce uh, plastics for this, just a shrimp imitation. And the reason I'm using this right now is because that hole in the eye is large enough for me to pass my red thread to. So I'm passing my red through through here. All right, well, pass it through, and I'm going to tie what I tie a lot is an approved clinch knot. I'm not obviously going to take as many wraps as I normally would because this red line takes up a lot of space. But I'm going to tie my approved clinch knot. I'm going to cinch it down, and now I'm going to do the same on the other side. While I'm threading this on, guys, if, in the future, if you'd like to see a video on how to tie this approved clinch knot, drop it down in the comments below, and we'll add it to the Wednesday list, and I'll show you guys how to tie this knot. It's my favorite knot. I've been tying it for a lot of years. There's a lot of knots better, but it's a very good knot. It's been good to me. So anyway, we've tied our shrimp on here with two improved clinch knots. I'm going to trim up our tag lines real quick. All right, guys, tag lines trimmed. Our tandem rig is tied. Just like we wanted it, we've got a swivel on a double overhand. We come down here and we've got our two lures, our two shrimp. So guys, this is a very, very simple way, 20 pound fluorocarbon, 12 pound fluorocarbon, whatever, uh, 12 pound mono, 10 pound mono, whatever you're throwing. You can tie this to 32nd ounce, 16th ounce, all the way up to full ounce jig heads, whatever you're into guys. Put your gulp shrimp on there, your hooked up baits, your JRZ, your 3J D soft plastic, whatever it is you throw and however you want to rig it. And you can sit at the house, watch the ball game, and you can tie up five or six of these guys in about 10 minutes and be ready to go, have them rolled up in a plastic bag and ready to go on the boat the next morning. Like I said, guys, this is a down and dirty, super easy rig to tie, and it's very effective right now during the flounder run on the Gulf Coast, guys. So a quick video, I wanted to share this with you. Thank you for everything, guys. If you got any questions about this rig, hit me in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. If you've got something you want me to cover that pertains to flounder fishing or pertains to anything in fishing, guys, again, we'll always accept uh, recommendations or requests, whatever you want to see. Um, coming up with a video every Wednesday it gets kind of challenging, so we appreciate when you guys reach out to us and tell us you something you want to see. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoy everything. Channel's growing fast. Thank you to you guys. We appreciate everything. Uh, keep in mind, from now on, videos are going to come out for 4 p.m. on Wednesday and 4 p.m. on Sundays. Same days, just 12 hours later. Try to see if we can use the algorithm to our advantage and build this channel, guys. Thank you for everything. We appreciate it. We'll see you out there.